as you know, I pre-recorded all of this when in the month of February when I was only doing black brand reviews. So you will be seeing this at a later date, but I can't help but, you know, show you the things that I have been purchasing. So I just did the video of the bags. I wanted to do it separately so it's not a long video. Now these are the shoes. Now, I don't know what it is, but lately I've been just loving Sam Elderman. And I've been loving them so much that I actually went onto their actual website to see what else is there that I'm just not seeing in these mainstream department stores like Nordstrom and so forth like that. And I came across two things that I like and I've got them. So let me show you the heeled shoe first. So this is the box. So here are the shoes. It's not coming up exactly how I would like it to come up in picture. It looks, it's not coming up. I'm gonna show, I'm gonna put a different picture on this side to show you what it really looks like in person. I think the metallic jacquard nature of the shoe the lighting is, is making it look so skewed, but it's very pretty shoe. Um, this is the heel. It's a very low heel. It's about two and a half inches. I don't. I barely would even consider that three. Um, <clears throat> the back of it, um, the front of it. Okay, this gives me a decadent shoe. Like I'm being transported to like the 1940s, 50s in a sense, probably the 20s. I don't know. Um, this does remind me of the, hopefully I don't butcher the brand's name, Manolo Blonix. I hope so. If not, I'll put it down below. This does remind me of their shoe and I have been eyeing their shoe for a while and I wasn't sure if I was going to like it or not. So this is a good alternative and they did have it in different colors. This is the one that spoke to me the most and I thought it looked super, super cute. I got it in a seven and a half and it fits my foot wonderfully. Okay, I I now know what to choose, what size to pick for Sam Elderman because it works. And for this to be a mule, I would consider this a mule in a sense. Um, it. It works very, very well, and it hugs my foot. It does not make it look like a thick, wide foot at all, and that's what how I want my shoes to look. I want it to complement my foot, and it definitely does do that. Um, I would say that um, the jewels was a little bit bigger than I was anticipating, but um, it's not very off-putting. It was just not what I was expecting. Um, I would say that if you are looking to buy the Manolo Blonix and you were cons and you just wanted to have a, a shoe at a cheaper price point, I did get this on sale. I don't know what it was originally. I would have to look back, but I got this for $89. Okay, so definitely a significant um, reduction in terms of what um, they normally, the, the actual brand name shoe goes for. So yeah. So how I've envisioned wearing these. So you cannot see it well, but hopefully I have linked it up. It has hints of gold in there, it has hints of bronze in there, browns. It has a bit of greens and olives and black, a little bit um, in there. And um, because of how low it is, and with the jewels on there, I just envision myself in a nice black midi spaghetti strap dress, you know, or it could even be asymmetrical, whatever, with my hair nicely done. It could even be slick back, just like how it is right now, with these shoes, <laughs> okay? <laughs> That's how I envision this. Obviously, you can wear it in other ways with other things, but when I saw that, this shoe, this was the vibe it gave me. And I was here for it, and so I bought it. Sue me. So the next shoe, I had to get it out and pretty for you guys because it was all stuffed around. I mean, stuffed and packaged how it originally came. And um, I was a bit torn about the shoe, so I did not buy these at the same time as the first one. I bought it later, mainly because um, I just kept thinking about it. And what I liked about it was the the color of the shoe and the material. It's not leather, it's actually satin, but I love the fact that it was and I love the sheen that it gave off. 
Um, this also is a bit reminiscent of Manolo Blahniks as well shoes. So this is another alternative if you would like to do this. Um, and here it goes. Yes, there we go. It is called Peacock Blue Satin. Okay, I'll come up a little bit closer so you can see. It has a very tiny heel. This is a, a complete mule with no heel um, and so forth. Bottom and it's a square toe. Um, the other shoe is just a square toe, but it's a pointed square toe. So, um, actually, now that I'm looking at it, it's really more of an almond pointed toe, you know. It's not an extreme pointed toe, but it's, it's yeah, it's more almond, not a square toe. And because of the square toe, I was a bit hesitant. I'm just like, I don't know if it's going to complement my foot or whatever or not. I also got this in a size seven and a half. And I would say I'm so happy that I took the plunge. I got this for $54 and it was final sale. So it definitely had to work no matter what or else. Because I would have been selling it or giving it to a family member who liked it. But um, I absolutely love it. This is the inside of the shoe. It has like this um, diamond um, quilted pattern and is pretty plush to a certain extent. Both of these, you're not really getting any arch support, but they were comfortable for sure. I'm very excited to wear both of these outside to see how they keep up, you know, if they still feel comfortable throughout the day, especially um, both of them because sometimes flat shoes don't work for me. So um, it's not really one or the other. Um, but I love the um, color and I also like that the jewels on these are not as clear as the one on the other shoes. So like if I bring it up, like, yeah, you can see the difference. Like this is more of a gray tone um, jewels. So it complements the blue on there. And this one is a lot more clearer. It definitely strikes out at you. Um, but yes. I definitely do like the shoe and what I do like about both of these shoes and I don't know if this is reminiscent of the Manolos is that the sides of it the sides enclose your foot so it doesn't feel like it's not protected um, uh, and I think that also adds for the not just the comfort level but also the compatibility to my foot because since I have a wide foot to kind of hold it in I like the fact that it has the sides as well, so it feels enclosed. So yeah, these are the two shoes that I got from Sam Alderman. Let me know if you like them or not. Um, of course, like usual, there's a lot more to come. Um, and yeah, I keep you guys surprised. Bye.